Here we have Marvin Circuit Racer. It's a contender of the Petron Sanctioned Race Bracket and Grid Race Championships. And actually, last season, he ended up third place of the Group 5 Bracket. So that's pretty good, right? It's pretty awesome. And okay, so he decided to have us rebuild his engine. Here it is. So of course, we're going to pull it out, do some inspection, check everything that we can. Here it is. Look. We removed the head. So this is D15B Japan series. And yes, with upgrades on the head because it's going with a PO8 D16J6 Vitek head. So this one is for you. Let's go. Marvin's four door is looking really, really good, right? Yep, and so he brought the car to us. We're gonna pull the engine for rebuild, and here it is. We removed the head because we won't be using that head. Look at this it's a D15B, but it's a 96 upwards model, so it's OBD2, and the head was LXI, so here it is D15B, but this is not an OBD1 block. So you can see the dipstick is on the side, but look at the block, it's so fresh. Look at the coolant jacket or the space between the cylinder bore and the coolant is really really clean and the deck is good even the threads and the head stud and see the side dipstick yes so now we have my colleague disassembling it and this is important because everything that he sees that's like let's say there's a pulled thread or whatnot he identifies it and lets me know and we got to figure out how to fix it but this engine did not show any signs of pulled thread or you know misuse this is actually a really really fresh engine and it's funny because when you think about it it's been racing on the circuit for more than a year and then it's still fresh yet we see everyday cars not as fresh as this but never raced that's weird right here it's all disassembled yes you can see the block is really fresh this is because he's been running coolant all the time, so this is good. Yep, let's turn it. Here, even on the main saddle, there's no imprint of, of the main bearing, so this has not been overused or, like, you know, abused and neglected. This is really good. And yes, if you're liking this video, hit the like button. This way, it tells the algorithm that there's a lot of activity that's going to spread the video to a wider audience. I'll really appreciate that, guys. So hit the like button, all right? Thank you, thank you. And of course, if you haven't, subscribe. This way you get updated whenever we have a new upload or sharing that we're the project that we're sharing is up and loaded. You got to know right away. So, yep, this is going to be really cool. I'll check out and wait for you guys, all right? Okay, so now here, this block is going to the machine shop for resurfacing and honing. And of course, after inspecting the crack and the pistons, we'll see if we're going to need something work, some work. And now, now let's go to the D15B Z6 head that we're gonna use as an upgrade here. Let's go. Now here is the PO8 head. Look at that, it's all stock, all bone stock, PO8. And yes, the exhaust ports are stock, so we're gonna clean that up and work on it. Let me turn this, let me show you on the side. On the underside, I mean. Yes, you can see the deck is actually really fresh. No signs of overheat, but doesn't really matter because we're gonna resurface it. But look at this, wait, sorry. Those chambers are equally burning, so that's pretty good, pretty decent. Now let's look at it close on if it's milled or not. And here, look, there's zero mill, so that's pretty good and fresh. Okay, let me turn this. Let me show you the intake side on the intake manifold side. Here it is. You can see the OEM gasket, intake gasket is all still stuck up. We still haven't removed that. But the reason why I'm showing this is because look at that. It's kind of offset, right? So... When you gasket match it, it's gonna skew the ports to the wrong direction, right? Look at that, it's not equal. It's not off, It's not offset on, on just equally one side, it's everywhere, left and right, up and down. And so that's why we made this video here. This will be on the description below, the link for this video and all that. And so of course, we have a members only video, to how, a trick on how to consistently cut an intake gasket, right? Just the same as the head itself. So you can port match the intake manifold, all right? Now here, we inked up the flange area. So we start 
porting it. So, yep. Now, let's go to the porting bench. Let's go, let's go. Here, we actually did start with the entry. So, we're going to smooth out the entry. Just, just the entry, not the whole port. This way, when we port match it to the intake manifold, it's near perfect. All right. The 80 grid. Then we actually we go smooth to 120 grit when we're done with it. But initially, now we're trying to remove the bumps because it's skewed, or the bottom side is skewed to the left and the top side is skewed to the right. So we gotta equalize that. Here it is. Let me show you close. Yes, it's getting there. Once we get that smooth enough, then we make sure the intake gasket that we cut is exactly the same. This way, when you transpose it to the intake manifold flange, it's perfectly port matched. All right. Now let's go to the bowl here. All right. Now let's go with the intake bowl. We go with 120 grit because this head, this specific head has less core shift. So we don't need to overwork it. It's actually right, good right there. As you can see, it's 120 grit. We're getting there. We're going to see if there's bumps and ridges. We clean that up, but not too much. Yes. All right. All right. There you go. Okay. Now, because it's 120 grit, let's go to the exhaust ports. Let's go to the floor. Let's clean it up. All right. We lubricate it. Later, we'll talk about the video about, you know, pocket porting, like a type bar. So we'll discuss that further. Here you go. The floors are getting better now. Yes. Okay, now we turn the head again. Now we go with the bowls. The exhaust bowl, we're going to make sure it's all cleaned up. This way we can... Actually, here we decided to actually port the exhaust port. This way, the efficiency gets a lot better because a single overhead cam VTEC, the VTEC is only in the intake. So this is because this is a circuit racer. We need all the help that we can get. So, yep. Here, let's look at the bowl. Oh, yeah. That's really good. It's getting there. Getting there. Almost. But now here, we're going to wash this up and take it to you, with you guys to the porting bench and show you more. But here, let me show you this. Out of the members only, we got this video here of type R porting. This is what we're doing actually on this head right now. It's just the bowl work or technically a pocket port, which is like a type R. So that's, this is how it is. And of course, we also have this other one, the full detailed on porting a Z6 head. It's on the membership only, members only section. But we also we have a regular video on the public channel section. So that's still fine. So hey, it's up to you if you guys want to join the membership because we talk about tuning and everything else. Every critical stuff that we do at the shop is always there, all right? Including ECU tuning and the more detailed dyno sessions that gets a little too boring for the public, so it's all the members only. Okay, now here's the cleaned up head. It's almost done. It's not yet finished, but we're just showing you. You can see the bowl is worked on, so it's just bowl work or pocket port. And of course, the entry, we cleaned it up this way. Port matching it to the intake manifold is going to be more perfect. This is essentially like a type R bulwark. So this is a type R head. This is really good now. All right. Here, let's look at the chamber side. Here you can see the bowl is cleaned up really well. Not yet done, but you can see there's some casting marks that we know we don't, we don't really clean up because it's going to get too big. But look at the chamber is really clean. We didn't really part the chamber. We just cleaned it up. So this is good as is. Here, let me turn the head now here. Let me show you the ports, the exhaust, because we decided to fully port the exhaust to up the efficiency to get better. Here it is. It's not yet done. It's almost, but you can see it's, it's not just type R ported on the exhaust. The exhaust is fully ported because, like I said, the VTEC, the intake is only on the VTEC. The exhaust is, remains on VTEC, so we got to make it as efficient as we can. Yep, this is good. And, of course, here... The plan for the owner, the owner Marvin agreed to upgrade to a Skunk 2 intake manifold that, that we're going to port. So that's going to be really good. And we're going to port match the head onto the intake manifold, the Skunk 2. And we also have a video of that, the public video here, the Skunk 2 intake manifold that we ported. But however, we also have an extremely more detailed video on the members only, including the measurements here. You can see that. Yep. So as soon as we get the manifold from the order, because we had to order it, 
as soon as we get that done we're gonna start working on it finish up this head and of course we'll have the video ready for the assembly time for the for this project it's gonna be ready and of course this is gonna be a three-part series this is part one the disassembly and of course the inspection and then part two will be when we finish machining and everything is ready and of course the part three is gonna be the startup and as soon as that video is ready of course you can always click it here for that